Atlanta. A city that has risen from the ashes. A city full of a determined spirit. A city set on a path to be first to the future. First to the Future really captures the spirit of Atlanta today. A spirit of innovation, of entrepreneurial spirit and shared purpose. And a city that's on the move as a leader in this country and all around the planet. What Mayor Reed has focused on is continuing to build the infrastructure for the next 20 to 30 years of growth in Atlanta. We're now at a point where we've sold the big bond issue to make basic infrastructure investment in streets and parks and sidewalks and traffic improvement. He continues to make those kinds of advancements. And when you see what happens to places like Pont City Market, what's happened to the Beltline, I think they are emblematic of what he's been able to accomplish. From startups to Fortune 500 companies, businesses are choosing Atlanta. A global gateway booming with opportunity. I travel all around the world, all around the planet, and I never stop talking about our city, Atlanta, as a wonderful, great place to start a business, to build a business, to raise a family, and even move a business. There's no doubt that Atlanta is the business capital of the Southeast and more. We are in the hunt with every big move that's happening in the U.S. today. As Mayor Reed says so well, you can't love jobs and hate the people that create them. So he has been able to create partnerships that have grown employment and, you know, the Atlanta economy is really strong under his leadership. We're an international company, so it's only natural that we look at the airport. Uh, it's a gateway from everywhere. And it makes it very convenient for our, our colleagues across the globe to be able to get here. But that was really just the start. I live in LA for about three months a year. I have a house there. And about a year and a half ago, I saw them declare a state of emergency because so much film was leaving the city and coming to Atlanta. And what that meant for me is that we'll have a chance to have tens of thousands, maybe the hundreds of thousands of people working in this industry. So being on the forefront of that has been amazing to me. And to have a mayor who understands that, who gets it, who's been fighting for it and making it happen has been really great. The reason that startups stay in Atlanta and thrive in Atlanta is the talent. It's become our secret weapon. As that job growth moves to high-tech uh, employment types, we need to kind of have that exposure as early as possible to Atlanta's youth. So we just uh, announced a partnership with the city of Atlanta and the, specifically the Atlanta Workforce Development Agency to create the Code Start School uh, here at Tech Square Labs. And the goal there is to reach underprivileged and underrepresented youth and kind of immerse them in a 12-month curriculum to understand coding and also understand company building and entrepreneurship. One of the things that Mayor Reed is really committed to is attracting and retaining global talent. And we have so much talent here in the city of Atlanta that we want to make sure that we have opportunities for our bilingual population, for our multi-ethnic population. Through Mayor Reed's vision, we were able to create the Mayor's Office of Immigrant Affairs. Mayor Reed saw that Metro Atlanta had the second fastest growing foreign-born population in the nation, and he knew that to be a city of the future, that we needed to do something about it. Atlanta is breathing new life into its neighborhoods, creating a rich, vibrant community that embraces its diversity and supports its families. Atlanta has a great quality of life. Uh, it is a great place for young people to get educated and stay here, but also to build families all around the metro Atlanta area. One of the things that makes Atlanta so special, it is a diverse city. And we wholeheartedly embrace that diversity here at Pond City Market. This started out as the old Sears building. The city bought it and really didn't do much with it. Three, two, one. Part of the mayor's 
brilliance was seeing the need to put it back into private hands. And we saw an opportunity to create an old fashioned city center almost, a place where people would want to gravitate to. When you add on things like the belt line, the bicycle lane, the new walkability we have, all the arts and culture here, people just really respond to those quality of life uh, aspects. Atlanta's always been the, the jewel of the South. It's always been the city that everybody wanted to come to and everybody wanted to, to be a part of. It's a great town. It was a promised land for me. When I first got here, I knew that I was home. And here I am, some 20-something years later, still celebrating. This city provides tremendous opportunities for people to start their own businesses, for people to move their families to the city of Atlanta, for people to really have access to the American dream. And we know, and people from across the globe know that this is what the city of Atlanta represents. To secure the future vibrancy of Atlanta, we must invest in our youth. The Centers of Hope provide safety, education, and character development for our next generation. Leadership is so critical, and Mayor Kasim Reed has shown the vision, the passion, and the sense of true collaboration, cooperation that's making Atlanta an increasingly positive, dynamic place to live, to work, to visit, and truly thrive. I call him a friend. He's just been phenomenal, a man of his word, and someone of great integrity. And it's just what the city of Atlanta has needed, and what he's done has been amazing. His determination is unbending, and his vision for the city rivals the vision that Mayor Hartsfield and Maynard Jackson had and have had for this city. So we are fortunate to have his leadership. The city of Atlanta is ascendant and shines brightly today more than ever before. We are a global leader in business and innovation. We are breathing new life into our communities and welcoming diversity with open arms. We are still a city that is too busy to hate but we are a city that is not too busy to love. It's this spirit of Atlanta that propels us to be first to the future. Let's go. <laughs>